Hi, welcome back. Doing another Far Cry 3 playthrough. Going to take you on a fantastic voyage through uh, this beautiful jungle island once again. As you can see, I left off here. I was uh, going to infiltrate this little this little camp. I'm thinking, I think I'm doing one of those uh, bounty missions here. They want me to take out that guy with the uh, yellow icon over his head. So you can see I'm just kind of waiting through the bushes, looking for an opening to strike. I throw my rock out there. Definitely threw it in the wrong area, but... Um, so this is early in the game. And I am playing it... You know, this is all first time playthrough. Um, I had never played through any of these sections before. So you're seeing basically how someone would approach this for the first time. Yeah, I'm just right here. I'm just really testing out how the uh, stealth mechanics work and hiding in bushes a lot. But, uh, yeah, one thing that sucks is um, I actually recorded an hour of footage with uh, live commentary. This commentary is not live. It's, uh, it's post-production. Um, I actually played through this section, and now I'm just doing a voiceover while I'm watching the video. But last night I played for about an hour, and... Um, I actually forgot to hit the record button and I wasn't able to get that footage. Unfortunately, you know, I probably will not get that footage. Um, but um, at least it's only an hour of play. You know, it's, you know, hopefully that won't upset you guys too much. Yeah, I'm just trying to throw rocks and get this guy to bite. And there we go. Takedown. Pretty nice. But yeah, it's um I will say I really like this game. It reminds me a little bit of Deus Ex, but um I just love the uh stealth in Deus Ex much better. This has pretty good stealth, but um DXL uh DXX stealth is just awesome to see. And it had much better takedowns also. Like the takedowns on here, just what, stab a guy with a machete over and over again. And it's pretty much the same every time you do it. And what the fuck is that smell? It's your mama. Anyway. I am um, really reluctant here, trying to sneak up on these guys. I got one of them going for the second one and I finished the mission and got an achievement for completing one of these little missions here. But yeah, pretty awesome. That's weird because I'm watching the video and um... In the video, the audio is out of sync. I hope when I render this video, it won't be like that. I think the audio is catching up. No, the audio is definitely off a little bit. For me, I don't know if it's going to be off when I um, render the video out and upload it. Hopefully that won't be the case. Alright, looting the bodies. Well, anyway, um, I will talk a little bit about a game I've been playing lately um, on Steam. Uh, I've been playing a game called The Binding of Isaac. Um, if you're a hardcore Christian, I definitely wouldn't recommend playing it because you'll probably get offended or something. But it's a really interesting game. Um, it's very much a cross between like a shooter and a Zelda game. 
And when I say Zelda, it's top down, and you spend the majority of the time in Zelda-like dungeons. Um, except it's more like a shooter because you're um, shooting projectiles all the time. Uh, I don't believe there are any melee attacks in the game, but go talk to Dr. Earnhardt. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I think I'm just kind of getting a feel for the game. Looks like uh, I don't know what to do about these enemies approaching. It's like, oh no, they're going to see me. What am I going to do? Um, well, it looks like I'm going to shoot one of them. I guess not. Changed my mind there. I am slowly creeping through the grass. But aren't they going to notice? They're probably going to notice those dead bodies I dropped over there. And here comes a, a jeep. And they just pass over the dead body. I have no idea what I'm going to do when I when these uh, enemies, the pirates, uh oh, I'm trying to distract them. Looks like it worked temporarily. Th uh, am I going to toss another rock or what? What's doing that? What? Hmm. Now you could always fool a pirate with a rock. Okay, they discovered dead people. So their vision, I think, gets a lot better when they're kind of in an alerted state. As you can see, he almost saw me. And I'm probably not going to have any choice but to uh, engage the pirates. I don't think I could hide for much longer. Especially when we got a, a jeep. I don't know how they're not seeing me anyway. These guys in the jeep saw me. And I only have two bars of health, so I don't know if I'm going to survive this encounter or not. It looks like there's only one enemy left. I'm not sure if I tagged the ones in the jeep. And he doesn't see me. See, so I, I, you know, I wasn't sure at this point if uh, rocks could distract enemies during an alert phase. And I still am not sure whether they do or not. No, I should test that later. Yes, yeah, the camera. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with the camera out, but... Yeah, since I'm in a hostile territory, I think I'm being a lot more cautious. Since I don't have the nearby outpost taken care of. But, um... Yeah, some more loot. Awesome. Getting some dog pelts. What's she gonna do with the dog pelt? I have no idea what you can do with a dog pelt. I oh know the guys are coming back. But I think at this point, um, I think my goal is to try to get to the radio tower to uncover this area. Um, radio tower is right across the river there. I think I'm probably going to mark it. Or not. Okay, yeah. I'm going to definitely mark it. So, the Valsa Docks. Radio tower. Yeah, that's where I want to go. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go and render this video to see how the audio, if the audio will still be out of sync. If that is the case, that would suck hardcore, but 
Um, I don't think there's much I could do about it. Unless I could find some editing software that will let me uh, resync the video. So there I go, off to the tower to unlock more of the map. And so my rumber dinghy is sailing along with my motorboat. I also heard recently that um, Ubisoft released a patch um, that allowed you to reset all the uh, outposts if you wanted to. Which is a pretty um, neat idea because uh, once you um, liberate all the outposts, well, at least on on the upper island, um, there seem to be like no enemies on the island. You could just run around freely without opposition. So I could see why they would add the um, the ability to reset the outpost so that you can have a better challenge against the pirates. Yeah, I also recommend, um, if you haven't seen it already, check out the um, Far Cry experience. Um, it's actually live action, and it's it's pretty funny. Um, I highly recommend it, and there is even uh, an achievement tied to it, so it's definitely worth a look. Yeah, there you go, here, gunfire. Um, I think I'm more concerned about getting on this damn tower. Let's see what lies over the grass. It looks like the Rakiat are engaged with uh, the pirates. Well, it doesn't fare well for the Rakiat, it looks like. But I go in, intervene anyway. And toss my grenade. And the grenades were semi effective. And we got one more in that Jeep. Uh, I'm not sure if he sees me. Oh, yeah, he, he sees me. I got him anyway. And I was uh, looting the body of my fellow Conrad. Did I say Conrad? I meant comrade. And notice that I do get jumbled with the words quite a bit. But hey, not much I can do about that. Alright, crafting. I guess at this point I'm just checking to see what, uh, what different types of hides I need to upgrade my uh, wallet since it's full. And my rucksack is full. I bet they called it a rucksack on purpose. Like, uh, you know, rucksack, nutsack. Maybe to get a laugh, I don't know. Could have just called it a sack. Or a backpack, or a, I don't know. Still getting having trouble getting up this this freaking tower. Oh look, I made some progress. Some great progress indeed. Yes, everything's full. Everything is indeed full. So what am I doing here? I'm gonna try to complete that. Make some hunter's instinct. I don't know why I'm making it, but I am. The instinct of a hunter. There's no better thing than that. So I think this is the second tower I've, I've climbed so far. This will be the second tower once I reach the top. The thing I like about these towers are they are p pretty much unique. Every tower is a different, ex slightly different experience. It's not too much a different experience. Um, it's very similar, but 
They all can seem to be constructed differently. Yeah, it's uh, it's not always the same thing. Then again, it's just a tower. Yeah. Uh, look at me trying to climb up the back of a ladder. Oh, there we go. Well, that's a good way of uh, signifying that you can't climb up that side of the ladder. As I know, there are in some games where there are two-sided ladders, and um, you know you could crawl up the wrong side, feel like an idiot when you reach the top, and there's something over your head. Uh, I'm still looting stuff, even though I can't uh, carry it due to my full wallet and full rucksack. <laughs> One thing I do enjoy is the. Uh, sound that the radio towers make when you uh, turn off the jamming or just make like this crazy sine wave bass type of deal it's like <coughs> yeah it's just like <coughs> sorry I like to make a lot of sound effects I am intrigued by them especially off the wall sound effects you know this uh, menu music is very strange, too. Like, it's... I don't know, it just sounds like you're underwater. You know, you're drowning. Uh, even the sound effects for unlocking things sounds weird, you know. But, yeah. Um, you know, hopefully... I need to check out my other videos to see if they have this... Uh, this audio problem. Hopefully they don't. I got the takedown drag. Now that's going to come in handy. Um, it's a very useful skill to uh, hide bodies. Um, especially if there's tall grass nearby. You could drag the body into uh, to some grass. So that the uh, other pirates, if they patrol near the body, they will not see it and cause an alarm that will go them into semi-alert status. Um, semi-alert semi just makes it so that they are uh, a little bit more aware of their surroundings. Um, you know, they're a lot harder to sneak up on. Uh, they don't uh, stick to a predefined patrol route. And that's what happens when, the, you know, they become alerted. So I don't know why it's taking me so long to figure out which skills I want. You know, I just pick one, damn it. Yeah, I complete. It's sometimes when I'm playing, I just completely forget uh, that I'm recording. And I'll take my sweet ass time, you know, looking through things. You know, looking at the, the handbook, reading entries. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. People might watch this. And then I forget. So, I don't know why I brought the camera out. Okay, let's check out that uh, ATV over there. I think it's a supply quest. So, I'm seeing where all these uh, zip lines land. So, they don't want to. Uh, zip right into a group of pirates and get beat down with the quickness with expediency so it looks like I chose to do the supply quest but I am being watched by two pirates however I don't think that's going to stop me from doing the supply quest or will it Am I going to interact with this thing, or am I going to... Okay, so I am. And this is the first time I think I've done a supply class, so that's why I'm taking extra time to read the instructions. Yeah, see, supply drop, the tutorial's up there. And I am just driving as fast as I can through hostile territory, trying to... You know, avoid pirates when possible. And, um, 
I know I'm talking to you from the future. I've actually completed much more of this game, but I think it's actually possible to um, skip a lot of those um, beacons and head straight for the last one if you know where it is. Because um, I actually missed a beacon on another supply drop, but it didn't count negatively towards me. Alright, so what am I doing now? Why am I going to open a chest? My wallet's full. See? Stop opening things. See, I wonder what happened to those chests. I wonder if they close. Or they just don't give me what's in it. I don't know. So looking at the map, it looks like I have a destination. I also have a supply or an outpost up in the north that I could take. Can hunt some animals. Also needing, you know, some skins to upgrade some of my stuff. That looks like I'm definitely going for an outpost. So, um, if you didn't know, um, outposts are visible by that smoke you see. Um, that smoke you see uh, going up into the atmosphere. Um, those will let you know the location of an outpost or if an outpost is nearby if you don't want to flip to your map a bunch of times but I can see why um, people dislike the mini map um, I happen to use it a lot but um, I know there are mods out there on the PC that let you disable uh, the majority of the HUD elements. Island Paparazzi. I guess that's an achievement for tagging a bunch of people with the camera. A lot of the achievements in this game are actually pretty easy to obtain. Um, none of them require too much out of you like um, for the relics you only have to um, get half of them you know half the relics and I don't know if I'm going to be dumb enough to actually try to open a box again with a full rucksack and wallet but here we go go on an adventure through the jungles. Okay, so I guess I'm learning about caged animals. So it looks like there's a cassowary in a cage. But unfortunately, at this point of the game, I don't have any uh, silenced weapons. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to release the uh, cassowary. There's a bunch of other animals too. Oh, pigs. And a dog somewhere. Oh, there it is. I wonder if you could throw rocks at the dog. Yeah, that guy should have used a rubber for sure. Alright, so I'm just scoping the place out. I'm planning uh, getting a attack plan together to get ready and storm the area. So we have here enemies. Enemies galore. And somebody is clicking their tongue because they're bored as hell. Must be a pirate. Alright, I think I got everybody tagged in this place. And it's pretty heavily guarded for being one of the earlier outposts. So we got five humans. We've got a dog. A cassowary. Oh, six humans. So yeah, it's pretty heavily guarded for a, you know, an opening outpost. 
So here we go. What am I going to do? Am I going to botch it? If I could only crouch walk faster. Wow, I stabbed a guy while I was taking a piss. I hope I didn't get any on myself. And at this point, I forgot about the body dragging. So I'm going to go look up the tutorial again to make sure I got the controls right. It's like, why well, didn't drag the body? Oh, you got to hold back on the L stick. So, yeah, I didn't hold back so the body didn't get dragged. So it's there for everybody to see. Now, I... It, uh oh, I think somebody may have discovered the body. I don't understand how they could even see the body. Like, they were around the corner. How can they see that body? They have x ray vision. Does it make sense? Does it? How did they acquire x ray vision to see that body? And there's a crazy cassowary stuck in a wooden cage. A rebel. So, who, I don't know why they call them rebels because it's not like they're rebelling against the pirates. You know, the pirates don't have a government or an empire that rules over these Rakiat individuals, so. I don't know why they call them rebels. It's just strange. I, I have no idea why. Alright, so I am taking my sweet time. I don't know why. I'm trying so hard not to get seen. I just, I just don't know. I, I'm just too into stealth, I guess. But then again, I do have a crappy weapon and not too much health, so, you know, that doesn't help. I keep forgetting about throwing rocks also. You know, rock throwing could really help me out right now instead of just hiding behind a f you know, behind the back of a house. But yeah, I'm sorry to put you through this, uh, slow, methodical, and somewhat tedious display of inaction. But this is genuinely how I play these freaking games. I am patient. Like, you don't even want to see me playing Metal Gear Solid, you know. It takes me forever to sneak past people because just don't like people seeing me uh, but but also at this time I had been playing uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker so that's why I'm being super cautious for no reason I don't know I wish I would just run out and do something already I think at this point I'm getting bored and I was like forget this crap I'll just uh, go ahead and deal with these guys and as you see I got seen by somebody that technically shouldn't have been able to see me yeah, I was hiding you know I was out of the line of sight uh, and they got reinforcements I'm actually not too sure how this is gonna go down you know I may not survive this but anyway um got about a minute left before the end of this video because um, I don't want to have overlapping dialogue again you know just abrupt cutoffs of dialogue so I really want to try to make this within the video and not end like on a middle of a sentence so we got about almost 30 seconds left and uh I got discovered. All that waiting, and I got discovered. I am so sorry for not being able to show you a stealthy run through of this outpost, but oh well.
I like to skill to stay out of the... That, and I don't have that many skills. You know, as you build up your character, you get more skills that help you with stealth. But thanks for watching the video, and I hope you'll be back to watch...